Hey guys, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. Uh, we're going to do something really fun. Um, I uh, have right here um, my uh, tablet, my um, multi-mixed media, whatever you call it. I can never think of it. I think they call it both. It's a mixed media tablet. This one happens to be the Canson brand. I got this over... Um, Michael's, I believe. Yeah, I bought it at Michael's. Um, this one is a 9 by 12 but you can get them in different sizes. You can get them smaller and you can get them bigger. But this is a nice thing to practice in. It, it just has thicker paper. It's cheaper than canvas. And you can practice in it. And that's what I was doing this evening. i had been telling you guys and I've been telling my All Access members that I was going to paint some bubbles. <laughs> and I finally did. So, that's what we're going to do this evening. We're going to practice painting some bubbles. Okay. So, this is this is my first bubble experience. I just looked at some bubbles, pictures, pictures of bubbles, and decided I was going to give it a try. So, that's what we've got here. All right. Let's do this. Let me see if I can get you all up over here on this, on my iPad, so I can see what's going on. Can you hear me too? Make sure you can hear me. Hello, hello. Yes. All right. So there we go. Um, I am, like I said, I'm going to just see. I've got this painting out here because I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, let's get you in a little bit closer too. Um, but this is just a, uh, just a sample thing here and you guys can practice on it and you're, it's, you're going to think it's crazy, uh, what we're going to do, but, um, cause I usually, um, paint solely with brushes or a palette knife or something like that. But this evening, I'm going to use some crazy stuff, <laughs> not crazy stuff, but you know, so y'all say, Hey, when you jump on here so I can see who's watching, see who's. Who's with me on this? All I used was blue and white. So, I know I've got other colors on my plate, but all I used was blue and white. So, this is going to be fun. This is going to be easy. We're going to do this, and it's going to be pretty cool. All right. Um, but we're going to take the just the one-inch flat brush, and I'm going to take some blue and white. And all I did was just painted on a, a background here. Now you can do your background. I just did mine like it was bubbles going up in the sky. We had done a, a bubble experiment. Uh, the uh, grandkids and I did a, oh, I've got a lot of water in my brush. Uh, we did a, a bubbles outside and they were going up in the air and it was fun. So I thought we would do that this evening on here, but you can do like, uh, bubbles on a black background. I've seen that. Um, whatever you like, whatever you want to do, wherever you want to put your bubbles. So I'm just doing blue and white. I'm just taking blue and white with my half inch flat and I'm just doing some, just some blending here on the, the pad. That's all I'm doing is just putting some color on. So like I said, you all say, Hey, when you jump on here so I can see Who's watching? How are you all doing this evening? Is everybody doing good? I know um, I had some several things I needed to do. I hadn't been on here for a while, so I, uh, painting, so I thought I would do that. I couldn't think of a thing, so this is what I come up with. I um, have been wanting to do this for a long time, so here we are. All right, so I'm taking some blue paint, and I'm just... After I did that, that's, that was really not a whole lot there. I just smeared my paint, blended my paint on there. I didn't smear it. I blended it on there. And then I'm taking my blue and just smearing it actually out so that I can take my shape that I'm going to use. I'm taking this small container here and I'm going to put uh, paint on it blue paint on it there and that's going to be my bubble shape now you can do how many ever shapes that you want um you can do 
um, once it loses, loses its own, so you have to go back and get more paint. Uh, but you can do like two or three different sizes. I just have two sizes. So I've got this one. This is just a, a container that I put some paint in for art kits. And then <laughs> a water bottle. Yeah. So real fancy, right? <laughs> so a water bottle. So my next one is a water bottle was my next size. So I'm just taking the water bottle putting it down, oh, some water come out, but I think that'll be all right. Putting that on there to get some color on it, just on that ring part. And then I'm gonna put my uh, bubbles on here with it. Now you can cross some of them, that make them touch like that, or, well, you can get that. Sometimes you have to dip it again. Uh, or you can put some like that are just floating out by themselves. Or like I said, you can also um, have like more than, you know, two sizes. I just was doing, I just did two because honestly that's all I could find uh, that would fit on my page. And just for simplicity, uh, that's what we're doing. So I'm going to take a smaller brush before this dries. I'm going to take a smaller brush, which is this half inch flat, and I'm going to rinse it and dry it with the paper towel. So then I'm going to take this uh, half inch flat, and I'm just going to blend around my outside edge, uh, keeping that in the inside there and just blending some of that out. Now, I'm, I'm not getting it on the outside edge. I'm just blending it on the inside edge. And you have to, I'm gonna turn this, you have to be careful not to, um, not to change the, uh, see, I'm just bringing that in. Just, to, you gotta be careful not to uh, change the shape of your circle. So I'm just blending that, see how I'm just blending that. And there I got a little, little out of shape. Fix that a little bit. See how I'm just smoothing that around? Just taking that brush, and I wiped some of it off with my paper towel, actually. And you can take a smaller brush if the half inch flat is too big, certainly. You can do it with a smaller brush. But I'm just smoothing that outside edge uh, and just bringing that in to create the um, look of the inside of the bubble. You gotta work a little bit fast so that it doesn't dry on you. Can you all see that? Sometimes I get my hand in the way and I have to get it, my hand out of the way. But isn't this the neatest? <laughs> <laughs> it really looks like bubbles. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, the simplest things just amaze me. But I never painted bubbles. I'll be quite honest with you. I just thought that would be something fun to do. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And I thought this was really cool. I don't think I've painted bubbles. If I have, it's been a long time and I don't remember. So, if some of the edges uh, have dried, that's fine. If you need to make uh, them softer, you can add a little bit of water to them. Get your brush a little bit damp and just go around the edge with that little bit of water on your brush. And that will um, bring that in and smooth that down a little bit. Now, there may be an easier way to do it or a different way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. Artists do things different. You'll find, you'll watch one artist, they'll do something one way, and another one will do something another way. But, you know, the end result, if we get the end result 
is what we're looking for. If it's right and it's good, that's all that matters. Okay? All right. Is that not so cool? That is so cool. Gosh, you guys, I just think it's neat. Now, this one's a little bit solid. We're going to clean some of that out of there. So, some of the lighter color will show through. So, that's what I've got so far. Okay? This is what we're going for. That's what I've got so far. So, it looks kind of funny right now. Hang with me. Hang with me. All right. So, uh, while I have you on here, too, I wanted to tell you guys about the workshop we've got for this coming up. We've got a workshop coming up for um, this one. It's going to be um, online next week. An online workshop next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This is going to fall. I'm trying to fix this so it doesn't fall. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for an hour uh, in the evening from 7 to 8. Um, live on in a private Facebook group. So, um, if you want to join in on that fun, you... Uh, once you, you pay for the event, you'll uh, receive a link to join a private Facebook group. You'll go into the group and paint with me in the group uh, three evenings next week. Now, if you miss the live, you can participate uh, by watching the replay. So, uh, this will be actually in the studio also, but it's on next week. It will be live uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 7 to 8 uh, Eastern, or yeah, 7 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. We will paint a portion of it each evening and then the last evening we finish it. So, um, yeah, so that's fun. So now I'm going to take this brush and we'll clean it and dry it with a paper towel. And I'm going to put the link to the, um, to the workshop in the, um, that's not what I want. I'm going to put a link to the workshop down in the comments so you guys can um, go out and click on that link and you can get more information about the workshop. And if you have questions, ask me about the workshop. It's going to be fun. So here I'm going to go in. I'm going to get some white on my brush. I've cleaned my brush. And I'm going to um, put these little highlights in. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to put a little highlight there. Put a highlight at the bottom. Highlight at the top. Highlight at the bottom. Highlight at the top. Highlight at the bottom. Top. Bottom. Just like that. And if it gets too much, you can just rub it with your finger. Just smear it a little bit. But you're just making a little highlight on each one of these at the top and the bottom. And then you're going to go in and right about right there, you're going to make another highlight. Just one right there. Just another one. Oops. You always tell when I mess up, because what do I say? Oops. All right. Is that not so cool? That is so cool. I just love it. All oh, these dumb things want me to log in. All right. I'm going to have to put the link in when I'm done here. All right. So, bubbles. That's how you paint bubbles. Who knew, right? Who knew? Is that not so cool? I mean, does that look like bubbles? It does to me. I think it would be really cool on a, on a black background, too. I think that would be neat. So, there's your bubble lesson for this evening. Um, but uh, the workshop's going to be so much fun. It's going to be uh, me inside of a Facebook group, a private Facebook group. You go out and you, um, you'll grab your spot. I'll post the link in the comments. You'll go out and you'll grab your spot. You will pay for the uh, workshop. It's only $10. The workshop in studio uh, next week is only $10. 
And I can see myself right there, and I'm turning that out of the way. <laughs> Don't want to see myself. Um, and you will um, pay the $10. Once you go in and you pay for it, I'll send you an email uh, with a link where you will request to join a private Facebook group. Then you'll go out to the private Facebook group. Once you request to join, I'll let you in. Then you will... Um, I'm going to get rid of this. It's driving me crazy. Um, we're going to... Um, inside of that Facebook group is where all the action happens. That's where um, I will do a welcome video to welcome you in, tell you all about it. You will um, join in uh, and paint with me there. That's where you will get your template, uh, where you'll transfer your drawing onto your canvas. That's where you will access the template and the supplies list so that you can paint this from the convenience of home. And um, you'll have a list of everything there that you need. Um, and I am trying... Get on here. I can't get this thing to cooperate with me. Uh, to, um, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, if all else fails, do it the old-fashioned way, right? Now my keyboard disappeared. Good heavens. I give up. Okay. <laughs> That's like ridiculous. Um, but you will, inside of that Facebook group, like I said, you'll have the welcome video. You'll have the uh, template and access the template and the supplies list. And then uh, on Monday night, I will go in. And if you want to paint with me, you can. Best thing to do is just watch the video and then... Uh, paint it later, but you can paint along if you want. If you've painted with me for a while and you want to do that, you can. Um, but you will um, watch it and paint or uh, later or watch it and paint with me and we'll have prize drawings. We'll have uh, just so much fun back and forth uh, talking and uh, I answering I'll be answering questions that you have along the way and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun and you learn a lot and there's others in there that are participating in the uh, workshops and the, uh, the list of participators grows every year and it's like a group of friends, a, a group of us in there that have, the the group is just building and it's so fun because everybody knows each other, remembers each other from the year before and if you don't, you meet each other in there and it's fun. It's just a group of like-minded folks that want to paint too and have fun and um, all that. So it's a lot of fun. We do that and uh, it's, it's fun. We enjoy it. Um, but painting is therapy. Painting is a way to kick back and relax and just, uh, it takes you away and, um, you just enjoy that experience and then you end up with a really pretty painting right here. So I tell you, I, I walk you through it this every step of the way. Um, and there's a little bit of an empty space up there at the top and I th was thinking and maybe at the end of the workshop we might do like some stenciling possibly to get that uh maybe a little couple words or something on there i don't know what do you all think do you all think that we should do like a put a space up at the top there enough to to write something on i don't know i don't know why i can't get this to work um there we go Just wasn't, my home, wasn't holding my mouth right, I guess. All right, let's see. There we go. All right, so we've got live workshops. This is out on my uh, Art My Karen Wolf uh, website. And you'll go to um, Live Online Painting Workshops. And it's the Live Online Painting Workshop pumpkin and sunflower. I'm going to get the link for you here. 
and put it down in the comments. Finally, maybe. <laughs> now this one's killing me. Oh, there it is. It's just way down in the bottom in the dark. All right, finally. Okay. Well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the bubbles. That was fun. Uh, that was sure um, a fun time. I um, enjoyed painting that with you guys. Um, get you a uh, mixed media tablet and try this out. It's It wasn't difficult. Um, wasn't difficult at all. Um, I wonder, y'all want to try that on black? I don't think that we can try that on black. Let's try that on black. We'll see. And if y'all have any questions about the workshop, please let me know. I'll have to get me some black. I'm going to paint the background then. Black. And then we'll put some bubbles on top of it. I'm just curious what <laughs> look like. Are you all curious? Let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see it. All right. So I'm going to take some black here. And you would want to be a pretty solid black, I would think. So give me some Give me some grace here. We're just trying this. This is an ex another experiment. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to practice, guys. Sometimes you just have to go out and out of your comfort zone and try something new. And that's what I've done this evening. I've just tried something different. And I'm going to dry this a little bit. Because um, if we don't try different things, uh, we won't learn. That's how we learn. I think that we'll have to do, do our um, bubbles like um, maybe like gray and white or something. I don't know. Is that what you all think? Gray and white or something like that. So don't forget to say hey when you want jump on so I can see who's watching. That is really, really important in, a, in more ways than one. For one, I get to see who's on here and watching the uh, live video or watching the replay because I can't tell who's on here. Um, if you all don't uh, say something. And two, when you do uh, get on here and you uh, say something, uh, type in something, then the, the video gets pushed out farther. <laughs> so that's always good to uh, reach more people with the video. So that's fun. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to dry this a little bit so I don't smear. So I think the bubble part, if I paint it blue, you guys will not see it. So I'm going to have to make like a gray color. To represent. Or maybe purple or something. I like purple would probably show up, wouldn't it? Just thought of experiment. Where's my thingies? So I'm going to go in here with my ring, with my, put some paint on my circle. I need something hard behind there because it's going to bend. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if it's flat enough. 
This side's not as hard as that was over there. Where's my water bottle? Yeah. I'm just getting the paint on the bottle here. Nothing fancy. I mean, you, I'm painting with a water bottle and a... <laughs> so it's not fancy. And I don't normally do this. Normally I paint with uh, brushes or a palette knife or whatever. Okay, so that's what we've got right there. Okay, so that already looks cool on a black uh, background. So, there's that. So, we're going to go in with the brush and do uh, the gray. Oh, we've got to blend that outside edge, don't we? And you could just take um, just that gray color. It's hard to paint that direction. You could just take the gray color, well, I thought, and just put that on there, but that's too dark. So I'm just taking a, just a wet, a little bit of wet on my brush, because that's already dried already. Just blending that out a little bit from the side. That's a little bit much wet, isn't it? Woo wee! I had to lay it down because it was gonna bleed on the thing. So that dried already. That dried really fast. So now I'm just taking a little bit of paint. Just going around that outside edge. And don't go as like 90 miles an hour like I'm doing. Take your time. And you don't like have to make it all solid or anything. We're just making it look like a, a sphere. It's probably dried really fast. For one, because I had the air conditioner air blowing down on it. And that, um, do it in the, in the direction that the, the circle is. Don't go side to side. Go around. Shoo, my arm's getting tired. There was a big goop right there. All right, so there's that. Let me clean this one a little bit. So there's the um, circles for that one. I'll just clean those about a little bit. And then if you take the white and do your highlights, You do your highlight at the top and at the bottom, the top, the bottom, top, bottom. Top and the bottom and then go back through and do one in the middle, right there. 
Oh, my Lanta. It looks like bubbles. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, my gosh. That is fun. And you could do different colors. Like, you know, like how bubbles are like, they pick up and reflect other colors that are around, like the purples and stuff. You could do that. Uh, that would definitely, um, you could definitely do that uh, in there. We'll get like a little bit of, it's not showing up as purple. It was showing up as a lighter gray, because I put it in the gray. But like different, different colors, it's not showing up on there. Kind of is. But you know how colors reflect in the... Yeah, you can see it. You can definitely see it. That's cool. Too cool. <laughs> I'm easily amused. Easily entertained. So there are the bubbles on the black background. I'm glad we did that. That was fun. All right, guys. Um, hope to see you uh, on the um, next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll be online. This is the live virtual. This is the live online. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, September 18th, 19th, and 20th from 7 to 8. The link's in the comments if you're interested in going out and looking at more information uh it tells you all about it in the description uh, of the product you go out and uh ten dollars to join in ten dollars it's well worth it i promise you won't be disappointed and if you miss the live you can watch it on the replay as many times as you want even if you catch the live you can watch it on the replay as many times as you want and it will be me uh, inside of a private Facebook group. Uh, once you pay, you will receive an email. Um, and for those of you that have paid already, I haven't sent that email. I'm getting ready to send that. Um, we had full-blown uh, painting parties all day yesterday in the studio. So, um, And then I did other things yesterday. So... Um, but you will receive the email to request to join the group. Once I let you in the group, that's where all the fun happens. That's where all the action takes place. That's where you will introduce yourself, say, hey. Uh, then you will watch the welcome video. You'll grab your template and your supplies list. Um, if I can, like I said before, I don't know if I finished that. Um, if you need art kits, uh, if I can get them out to you, I would do that for you. Um, if you're local, you can pick them up. Um, but if uh, not, there's a list of supplies there that you can, um, uh, if you have paint, any kind of paints that you have that's acrylic and the colors that are similar to what we're using. There's not very many. Uh, and a couple of brushes and join in and paint. It's a lot of fun. You'll love it. You'll learn so, so, so much, I promise. And there's going to be uh, prize drawings uh, each night for those who are, who are participating live. So join in on that. Links in the comments to grab you some more information. Sign up for that. You'll love it. I promise you won't be disappointed. And I hope that you'll try painting the bubbles because I'm telling you the truth. This was fun. I'm going to have uh, Henry and Charlie do this with me. They will love it. They will love it. Uh, especially, look how that purple, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that purple is showing up in that uh, black. So, we could add some blues in there too, I think. Uh, we'll be painting bubbles all night. We could add some blues in there. And I just added purple with no white in it. Blue with no white in it. Purples, some blues, just some colors that might reflect. You know how bubbles are. They're really cool because they pick up colors from things around them. So that, you guys, is awesome. That is awesome. And you could add even some more white to that so that it would show up. 
So, there's the bubbles. And there's those bubbles. Oh, gosh, that was fun. Oh, my gosh, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys for jumping on here. Um, have a wonderful evening, and I'll be back on here again, and we'll paint something else, or I'll give you some information about something. This is the place to be if you um, want to paint, because I love it. I'm obsessed. Thank you all so much. Have a good evening. God bless you, and take care, and I'll see you back on here again pretty soon.